I was born in Berkeley, California, and my mother was a waitress. When she got pregnant with me, she couldn't be a waitress anymore. So she was looking for something to do. And she'd always had this little lettuce garden in her backyard. And uh, Alice Waters, who's a friend of hers, said, look, if you can't be a waitress, why don't you grow more of that salad? So my mom, being a uh, you know, very, very go get em entrepreneur, filled up her entire backyard and then her front yard with uh, this little baby lettuce and then started filling up her friends' yards and empty uh, pieces of land all over. We were the first urban farmers in Northern California that I know of and uh, started selling to more restaurants. And then it grew and grew when we came down to Los Angeles and now it's quite a big operation. We were on food stamps, abject poverty. You know, it was, it was a hard time, and she bootstrapped us out of it. I had a fairly normal upbringing. I would go to school, like in regular school in Pasadena, and uh, had normal friends that didn't have farmers for, for her parents. <laughs> and uh, then on the weekends, it was different. I'd be out here, I'd be pulling weeds, I'd be harvesting things. There was no allowance. There was just, well, you can work on the farm. And so then I would start putting longer hours and doing real jobs, you know, and uh, that turned into a career. Will Rogers once said, the farmer must be an optimist or he wouldn't still be farming. There are definitely times when I felt like it wasn't for me. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing builds character. You know, to, to, you don't know how hard you can work until you worked as, an, as a farmer. It's intense. When it's like like freezing cold and you're super tired and a little bit sick and you've still got to come out and be here and pull 12 hours and do hard physical labor and speak three languages and you know talk to clients on the phone who are upset about arugula having a couple of flea beetle holes in it or something like that and stay cool, it really just prepares you for the absolute worst. You normally operate in the red when you're a farmer. Like, it's always like an emergency. It's always the worst thing that's ever happened. The way that we produce our, the food that we produce is grown to the highest standard. We don't use any chemicals that are going to be harmful for a human. We don't use anything that I wouldn't eat myself. We're able to produce that on a large scale. So for me, it feels like I'm a great member of the community. I'm really proud of what we do because we offer healthy stuff to families and to people that can live their best life. There's no reason we can't have a healthy diet, and we don't have to gouge people for that. So how old are these plants? These plants are two months old. But when will they start producing some? We'll be harvesting these in another three weeks. Yeah. And by that time, they'll be uh, not as tall as these stakes. Oh, wow, they grow fast. They, they grow fast. They're a lot of vigor. Yeah, I mean, you can see them divide under a microscope there. Really? Yeah, they're really, really fast. How many, now are you doing all hand planting here? Yeah, they're planted from little starts. We, yep. we start them, uh, they're, they're, what, a few weeks old, you know, like a little tiny plant. Transplant them and? Yeah, transplant them right in, and it speeds the process a lot. It does work a lot yeah. better, doesn't it? Plus, you're never sure which ones are going to germinate, so this way you only plant the ones that have, in fact, germinated. So. Oh, that's great. I never realized that. One of the great things about growing tomatoes, whether it's in your backyard or on a farm, is that there are so many different varieties to choose from. Early Girl is an all-around good tomato. It's very versatile. You can use it for sauce or you can use it for slicing, though it's a little more toward the slicing. So what this makes it the... more? What makes it so universal? So it's here. Let's cut one open and okay. talk about it. So inside of a tomato, you have basically two parts. Look at that. That's a good one, yeah. yeah. So you've got the meat, or the pith, which is this part right here, this square, this, this star. Yes. And then all the meat around the outside. Okay. And then you've got the seed pocket, which is a hollow area that contains all the seeds. Mm -hmm. And this is the part that's more watery. Right. So with a slicing tomato, one that you're going to use for, like, uh, hamburger or sandwiches or something, you kind of want a bigger seed pocket. Oh, I understand. It has a juicier, right. like, mouthfeel. And then in a paste tomato, which is the other end of the scale, that's for cooking. You want more of the center area, and so the seed pocket gets even smaller. And this is kind of a happy medium. For Nathan, finding a happy medium today extends beyond the early girl tomato. After opening farmhouse in Los Angeles, 
Nathan must now balance the life and schedule of a farmer with that of a chef. We started the concept for Farmhouse in March of 2016. That's been a real change. It's a 180 degree difference between being a farmer and being a chef. There are a lot of parallels, or you work really hard, you work crazy long hours, you're dealing with personalities all the time, but the hours are totally different, they're the opposite. Whereas I would get up super early and be done by 3 p.m., now I'm up all night. <laughs> like, you know, it's just, which was really hard in the beginning, uh, but you get used to anything. I really like seeing the end result of what it is. You know, I've always seen the beginning. Like from seed, I grow all these plants, this rosemary, like I, you know, I probably planted that as a tiny little seedling. Then it kind of goes into this black hole where you never see where it actually goes, with very few exceptions. And now I'm taking all the produce from my farm and bringing it to a restaurant, and I see it literally on the plates of my clients. And I prepare it in a way that I see fit. I really love that.